Yo, how's it going, boys and girls and other genders of the world? So in this video, I talk about how you can counter 20 CPS. I basically just show some examples on how you can counter it. And also some examples on how I would fight if I were to be jitter clicking against the 20 CPS player. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please make sure to join my Discord. Link is in the description. And yeah, enjoy your day. I'm going to show examples of me jitter clicking, for example. And I'm going to show of my friend butterfly clicking 20 CPS. And me still beating him with actual movement. This basically goes to show how important movement actually is in PvP. And it will give you a clear idea of what you need to practice on if you find yourself dying to people that are butterfly clicking higher than what you are clicking. So in this clip here, you can basically just see me jitter clicking as normal and double tapping. I'm occasionally winning trades when I'm just jitter clicking and double tapping. However, you can kind of see that it doesn't really help me much. And you can see that my opponent who's clicking 20 CPS is actually winning a lot more trades than me. Meaning that the player with more CPS will probably win the fight overall. When you are clicking 20 CPS, your sprint basically just breaks. So you pretty much do not move. This is just with us dolby tapping and not having any movement whatsoever. And I'm going to show you later what movement and jitter clicking will do if you fight against a 20 CPS player. So in this clip here, you can clearly see that I'm clicking a lot more CPS than I was in the previous clip because now I'm actually butterfly clicking. You can see how much of an easier task it actually is for me to win trades at this point. You can see that my opponent goes flying back while he's jitter clicking. It's a lot of an easier task for me to win trades because I'm butterfly clicking versus my opponent who is jitter clicking, which is causing me to not move at all, which is making me win the trade a lot easier than he is. And as you can see in this clip, there's not much movement involved. I'm just simply double tapping and an occasional block hit. And as you can see here, I'm just jitter clicking once again. But this time I'm throwing in some actual movement and I'm strafing, I'm S tapping, I'm doubly tapping, I'm block hitting. I'm throwing all of these tricks into one. I'm officially countering 20 CPS by just having movement against them. You can clearly see in this clip that I'm butterfly clicking and my opponent is still jitter clicking. But this time my opponent actually has movement involved. By doing this, I have a much harder task by fighting him. And as you can see in this clip, my opponent ran away with a combo. So you can see that movement is very important when it comes to PvP. Because if you don't have movement, then you're just going to go flying back. Or either have a very hard time beating your opponent. However, though, it doesn't usually apply to other game modes. For example, in rod PvP, where movement and hitting your rods is very important, usually having high CPS or butterfly clicking in general isn't really that important. Because there, your game sense is very much focused on. Because if you don't have better game sense than the other opponent, you're probably going to lose the fight. As you can see in this clip, I'm jitter clicking. And my opponent is butterfly clicking. And you can still see that in this clip, I'm just jitter clicking. And I'm still putting pulling up a decent fight by just hitting my rods on him. By just simply using the rod and jitter clicking, you can see that my opponent has a much harder time fighting me because I'm utilizing my rod a lot and I'm constantly moving around him to get my hits. You can see that CPS in this encounter doesn't really matter. It's just how you utilize your movement. And if you do that more often, you can probably become a very good player.